Sagittarius, this is your love predictions, the 2022. What's coming towards you in love during 2022? Sagittarius. Welcome back to Hope Tower Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe, and your intuition. If we get into it and you'd like to claim it, put a little like on it. If you want to support the channel, put a little like on it makes difference especially with such a small channel over here so we're looking at your love life come back at the end of 2022 and genuinely tell me what happened did i get it right did i not i want to know so bookmark the reading set a timer in your phone treat it as an experiment i'm gonna do a celtic cross Opportunities to come, possible attainment, possible outcomes, all of the things. And we'll do clarifying as well. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly four angels, offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind, the magician. Personal readings are available from my website. If you ever wonder what deck I'm using, it's listed on my website as well. Um... So we've got the Magician, and it's the first card in my Celtic Cross. It's all about you. What you manifest in this year, Sagittarius? Love. Love. What kind of love? What do you want to manifest from a relationship this year? What do you want? Do you want... Because there's all different types of relationships, isn't there? There's the, the dating. There's the, you know, being single for a bit, strong, independent, doing what you want. There's the finding that commitment finding the one you know um and sometimes when we go into finding someone to connect with we kind of know what we're looking for sometimes um is it something serious is it something playful what do you want out of 2022 let me know in the comments what are your hopes dreams and desires um and the four of pentacles is the question. Are you going to find this stability? Are your needs going to be met in every way that you want them met? Um, are you going to find someone to come and step on your platform with you? To come and be with you? Um, yeah, it feels like you're coming from quite a stable place, to be honest. It feels like you're open to something more. But you're also... <laughs> open to play dates i don't know why that's in my head that just is so yeah the six of swords what's around you 2022 moving on to a better future traveling light um being guided in the right direction i'm not sure if you're particularly looking for the one or you're just happy to find someone um temporary long-term commitment um but also playfulness as well it feels like uh then we've got the nine of swords and that's under your feet like you don't want anything stressful um you don't want anything stressful you've got baggage that you want to leave behind um sleepless nights is interesting that can be quite playful What's behind you is the fool. Yeah, that's behind you. So, I think you're probably looking for something a little bit more serious than what you have had, but not stressful. You don't want the stress. You can't, it's almost like the universe said, yes, I show us, we can't deal with the stress this year. Let's not stress ourselves out this year. Let's enjoy the journey, it feels like. Um, but let's not be stupid as well. Let's... Quality over quantity. Take that in whatever way you will. That's just what's come into my head. So I'm delivering the message. It's a tarot reader. I am meant to do that. Um, the King of Pentacles, opportunities to come. Stability, security, success. And uh, I've got a feeling that by the end of 2022, you're going to feel like you had quite a successful romantic journey, whatever happens. It's like, yeah, I think you want to leave the stress behind you. And 
Maybe it's your impulsiveness that's got you into difficult situations in the past of only seeing the best in someone and then feeling like, no, actually, they're not what I thought. Um, and it feels like you're leaving that behind you. The King of Pentacles may be someone coming in. It may just be you being successful in love this year, whatever it is that you're looking for. And I'm not particularly picking up on that you're particularly looking for the one. I'm, I'm not sure if you are. But it's someone to spend some time with. That doesn't cause you a load of stress. It doesn't upset you. I'm going to do clarifying. I think we need to. Your secret question is five of pentacles. Yeah, okay. So there's things that you are leaving behind. You don't want anyone coming in and smashing up your happiness. Um, I think, I, I do genuinely think you're going into 2022 quite realistic thinking yeah I quite like how my life's right now so if someone comes along they've got to make me feel like I'm winning you don't want to come out of 2022 feeling exhausted feeling like you've been ripped off feeling like it wasn't the dream that someone sold you um I don't think you're particularly going in with massive expectations but when you don't have massive expectations the good things that happen are feeling even more amazing if that makes sense uh timing on this is the king of cups yeah this just i'm picking up on a lot of stability for you i just am if they're worth it you'll go with it if they're not you can't be bothered with it um you've learned a lot over the last 12 months i know that you've learned a lot about who you are who you're willing to let in and who you're not willing to let in. And, and um, you don't want to be messed around. You don't want to overly commit. Um, yeah. Attainment, the wheel of fortune, laws of attraction. Putting the past behind you, moving towards the future. I do think 2022 is going to be a journey for you in the most wonderful way it's almost like a continuation of what's been and gone in the last 12 months of having more of a realistic view of that leaving a lot of the past behind leaving a lot of the worry and the stress behind and being really open to chance encounters laws of attraction evolution throwing it out to the universe of bring it to me what you bring into me and I'm going to enjoy it and if I don't enjoy it I'm going to shut it out because I can't be bothered with it and that feels like that's the attitude that you've got now when you do that Sagittarius you really are leaving it up to the universe of deliver it to me come on bring it to me let's see what you what you've got for me let's see who you know who's ready for me um that feels exciting that feels really exciting because if the universe brings you something stressful that's straight out the door you're not interested in that if the universe brings you something that feels really very nice you're going with that in in a way of you're not gonna hurt me I'm gonna enjoy it if it doesn't go anywhere I'm gonna enjoy it and if it gets to the point where it's not going anywhere and I don't want it anymore, I'm going to walk away from it and I'm going to be fine. I'm not, it's, it, it's feeling like a breath of fresh air for you, Sagittarius. It really is. Um, it's almost like love isn't the be all or end all. You've, you've got other things going on. It feels like you're in quite a stable place in life and that's more important to you than being connected to the wrong person. Um nine of cups your wishes careful what you wish for careful what you wish for you're gonna get it you're gonna get it that's why you got the magician at the beginning of the reading it's what is it that you want from this year Sagittarius if you want to leave it up to the universe if you want to accept the good things that come if you want to push away the things that you don't want 
the universe is going to grant your wishes. You're going to... This time next year, if you're watching this when I upload it, you're going to be very happy and satisfied. You're already quite happy. But you do you have a feeling of there's something you're leaving behind. Um, we all do, don't we? But, yeah, by the end of the year, you're going to be really quite happy. When you look back at your journey through 2022, you're going to think, yeah, that felt good. That felt good. Can I have some more of that, please? Um yeah this feels very nice it's probably one of my nicest zodiac predictions i do think someone's gonna come in may even be a couple of people but i don't think that's i don't think that's the most important thing that's gonna happen this year um let's do some clarifying so on the six of swords we've got the king of cups yeah, King of Cups has come out twice. Um, again, the kings are very stable. They're passion, they're motivators, they're loyal, they're successful. The King of Cups will love you unconditionally, but it's having unconditional love for yourself as well. Um, you're not running into 2022 looking for anything or anyone. It's like you're strolling through 2022 and appreciating life and enjoying life and with a realistic view like you don't have you don't have love heart glasses on like the fool you're not running in not running around just seeing the best of everyone you're standing back you're walking along and you're assessing everything and that feels really quite powerful and um yeah that's nice. That's really nice. Because when you when you're able to step back and be led by what you see and what you feel, you can really go somewhere amazing this year. Because when we get stressed out, especially with the nine of swords, when we get stressed out, we end up holding on to things that we shouldn't be holding on to. We get messed around. We do because we're hoping for the best. We're hoping that we're seeing all the signs and we're pushing all the red flags away and we're hoping for the best. We're hoping that that person's going to, and that, that situation's going to change and it, and it just doesn't. And it's almost like you're taking a step back and seeing the bigger picture and the bigger picture is your happiness and the bigger picture is fun and excitement and journeys and throwing it out to the universe. So we've got the six of wands. That's nice. By pushing away the nine of swords, you're holding on, you're opening up to the six of wands and the six of wands is your glory, your fame, your achievements, your rewards. And it's like, I don't need to stay up all night, every night stressing out about whether I'm going to meet anyone or not. I'm going to get a really good night's sleep, get up in the morning and see rock, what rewards are coming to me and if there are no rewards in love that day it does not matter I'm going to go back to bed I'm going to sleep well um yeah behind you is a strength card there's quite a bit that you've had to recover from you've got resilience in spade loads bag loads spadefuls what is that word I don't know um Choosing love over hate, letting go of the past, letting go, really letting go of the past, really, really, like, I've got a feeling you've already done the work, <laughs> I've got a feeling before you've even got into 2022, you've let go of the past, you've taken your glasses off where you were looking at the best of everyone, um, and it's you taking control of your life to the point of by taking so much control of your life, you're putting out to the universe if you deliver what 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 you the good things that the universe wants to deliver to you, you're open and accepting of it because you're not caught up looking at the wrong thing. Sometimes love's a bit of a radar and um like in you know, like a radar where it's 
goes in a circle and it picks up a ship in the sea or an airplane and what sometimes happen is like our love radar spins around and it gets stuck because there's something on the horizon so we like get our binoculars out get our telescope out we focus on this little spot on the horizon and we think oh that looks quite good I hope it gets closer but what we don't realize is because we're not looking at the whole radar the universe is actually trying to move us away from that spot because that's not what should be on our radar because we're not on their radar we're not showing up on their radar at all so we're focusing on this this little blip in the the landscape of and we're not going that way and they're not coming towards us but we're like yeah but that's the only thing I can see right now so that's the only thing I'm interested in and then we get so focused on that and we get so frustrated because we're not getting any nearer to that we forget to scan the rest of the radar and there may well be because we're so focused on one thing we miss out on the other thing that's on the radar that is moving towards us that is we're on their radar as well and and it's a very nice connection but we've got our back to it because we're not looking at that we're looking at the the blip on the horizon that's getting further and further away I don't know where all that come from but it feels like it's important thing to say and it feels like the attitude that you've got of okay if there's something on my radar but it's drifting in the wrong direction I'm going to keep scanning and and see what is coming my way be open to it being open to whose radar are you on who is moving in your direction and being open to the people that are moving in your direction the people who do see you the people who are open to you the people who the universe is bringing in towards you because sometimes we really do get tunnel vision. We're like, yeah, but I really want that person. Yeah, but... Yeah, you know. <clears throat> so, the Nine of Cups again. Very nice. Happiness, satisfaction, which has been granted on the King of Pentacles. If you want stability, you're going to have that whether you're connected with someone or not. You can have happiness this year, whether you're connected to someone else or not. It's like this whole shift in your energy of, yeah, let me assess. I'm not just going to rely on the radar, actually. I'm going to have a look at the whole map. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? If I move myself in a different direction, whose radar am I going to show up on? And being open to everything, the 360 of everything and running with with what really does feel good leaving behind uh, the secret question is five of pentacles and two of wands there's someone who you made plans with before in the past those plans didn't happen and as much as it was painful and as much as you were really hoping that those, those plans were going to happen and it was going to change your life um, it's moving into a place of acceptance of yeah those plans didn't happen and that's for a reason and it's to open up plans for you to make you can make plans in 2022 for you you don't need to wait to be connected to someone to book a holiday you don't need to wait to be connected to someone to go to the cinema you don't need to wait to be connected to someone build start building your life you can do that and then you can invite someone to be part of it. Um, sometimes like, oh, I can't do that because I'm on my own. Go do it. You don't know who else is going to be there on their own, you know. So on the Kia Cups, we've got the Knave of Swords being quite clear about what you want. And also not getting heartbroken when someone lets you down. Not being heartbroken when someone cancels a date. Um... Because, again, you're taking a step back. You're looking at the bigger picture. All oh, right, well, they've cancelled their date on me. Why has the universe made it hard for them to come and see me? What is the universe opening up for me? It's a very positive mindset to have. I've got a feeling you're going to be meeting someone really very important, if not one or two people who are really very important to you. And I think they're new. I don't think they're from your past. And I think you've got journeys and things to explore with one or two of them. Um, there'll be a reason that they've been brought into your life. It'll be opening up something new for you. 
putting you in a different direction that then leads you on to someone else. So I think two potential connections for you in 2022. Um, one's a stepping stone because by... <laughs> it sounds rude. This sounds this sounds quite disrespectful, but it's what's in my head. It's like one of them's the stepping stone to get you to the other one. Um, it opens up a door. One person opens up a door in a direction that you hadn't even thought of. And it'll lead you to someone else. And if you hadn't met the first person, it wouldn't have even put you on the radar of the other person. Um, there's, there's a change coming in your love journey. Whatever that is, I don't know. But it feels like an expansion of your life. Um, in a way of being open up to the full radar and the map that's beyond that radar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Four of Cups. Boredom could lead you into trouble, by the way. If, if, um, because the Wheel of Fortune's there, I do think there's going to be a stepping stone connection for you. And you haven't met them yet. Um, if you're watching this near the beginning of 2022, you haven't met them yet. But you're going to meet someone during 2022 who... It's going to be a bit of a time filler. A stepping stone to open up the rest of the map. Um, I don't know if you have a game like Xbox or anything. But sometimes in certain games you have to get through certain quests to open up the rest of the map, to open up the rest of the quest list, to open up a main quest. And I do think there's someone that's going to be brought to you, chance encounter. And you can think, oh, no, no, right, they're the one. No, they're not. <laughs> they're going to be a time filler. They're going to open up and they're going to take you on a journey and that journey is going to take you to someone who wasn't even on your radar and you wouldn't have come into contact with this person without this link, without this expansion pack. I need to get myself an Xbox, I really do. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah. And this person, to begin with, they're going to feel exciting and it's going to feel playful and it's going to feel great, but then you're going to get bored. And when you get bored, you can start tapping your foot and it'll open up. The journey that you're meant to be on, the judgment card on the Nine of Cups, because you're open to the universe this year. The universe is going to be delivering. It's going to be delivering for you. You're going to come out. You're going to come out of 2022. Um, having been connected to two people, you may leave 2022 single, but in a whole different dating pool of people um but i got a feeling you won't believe in 2022 single you're gonna have a, a filler relationship then you're gonna have someone that's really does quite mean something um who you might take into 2023 or you meet near the end of 2022 and then uh, you have quite a nice time with during 2023. Um, but you need that filler person first that opens up the expansion to get to this other person. So that's what I've got for you, Sagittarius. It feels like it's going to be a wonderful year. It's probably one of the nicest Zodiac predictions I've done so far, I think. Um, feels fun. Feels exciting. It feels like the stress and the worries behind you. It feels like, yeah, you've got the right mindset of, yeah, I'm open to it. I'm open to it, universe. What have you got for me? And um, make your wishes wisely. If you wish for the wrong person, you're probably going to have quite a lot of stress, but I don't think you are. I think you're going to be open to what the universe wants to deliver to you rather than focusing on a, a point on the map that's actually moving further away. It feels like you've done that before and you don't want to do that again. Um, 
feels fun, feels exciting, it feels... Yeah, I really... <laughs> I'm like, do I, do I now do the 2023 reading? Because I want to know, I'm invested, I'm interested. But anyway, there we go. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. If you would like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee in the morning, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, it's my favourite part of the day, talking to you guys in the comments. If you see purple hearts anywhere on anything, there are other people that make it to the last 10 seconds of a reading. So well done, you know, part of a secret crew. If you know, you know, I will see you soon.